Hey, today we're going to walk through the process of installing um, Android SDK, Cordova, and Ionic on Windows 8. Uh, so this should apply to Windows 7 as well. Um, basically, just need to go and install all the Android dependencies, set up Java, download a few other things, and um, after you know playing with everything, it should be good to go. So, all right. So I'm just going to go, first of all, just start and go download the Java SDK. So go to Chrome or whatever, download Java SDK. <clears throat> okay, someday that'll finish downloading. Okay, so while we're waiting, let's go and install Ant. So just search Ant and go to Apache Ant. Go to download binary distributions um, and down here you'll see a zip file of Apache, Apache Ant, just download that and it's so Ant finished downloading so we're just going to go and extract that I guess while we're waiting, we can also go download the Android SDK. Just search Android SDK. Just get the normal default one with Eclipse. We'll do 64-bit. We did read the license, so make sure you read this. I've read it many times, so download the SDK. Okay, so Java downloaded, so let's uh, go ahead and install that. Okay, Java downloaded and installed. So just to verify that everything installed, open up command prompt. So to do this, go to your start menu, just type CMD and open the first result that comes up. And then just type Java. And you should see it print something out here. Um, you can even type Java dash version to make sure that installed. If you don't see something, it says Java is not found. Um, go to your environment variables in the settings edit envir environment variables for your account and then um, you'll want to create a new variable name called path and then inside there put the uh, put the uh, path to your Java installation uh, the bin folder of it there so we've got Java JDK 1.8 so we'd put the bin folder here in the path. And then restart CMD, and that path variable would then be updated. OK, so <clears throat> Java's installed. Now let's go and install the Android SDK, which we've just downloaded. So we'll go and open that and extract it. So it's helpful when you're installing, uh, especially on Windows, installing all the uh, uh, dependencies for doing Java development with Cordova. Um, it's helpful to go in and, and read the platform guides um, for Cordova development. Um, so if you just go to cordova.apache.org slash docs slash en slash 3.5.0 um, you can find the platform guides for Android here and Cordova. So let's go to the Android platform guide Okay, and so a lot of the things that I'm talking about here can also be found there, um, but it's a little more obscure, so hopefully this, uh, me walking you through it will be much more helpful, but uh, there's a few things in here that are good for the Android portion. Um, so now that we've downloaded and extracted the Android uh, developer kit, um, we just want to remember where it is in the path, because we're going to need to add several folders here to our system path variable. So this is what we're going to have to add the ADT bundle SDK platform tools and SDK tools folder to our path. So I'm just going to go in here in the SDK folder where I downloaded the Android kit. Um, so I've got platform tools here so I'm just going to take this full path and open up my environment variables again.
just add that to the end of the path. And then I'm going to go back and find the tools folder. And then I'm going to also add that to the end of the path. <clears throat> Great, and then one more thing I just forgot. We're going to want to do the same thing with Apache Ant with the bin folder here. We're going to have to add that to our path. Great, and then close out of uh, CMD and then start it up again. So you might just want to pin it to your starting, your taskbar to make it easier. Um, but you should be able to type Android and have it do something. So if it says command not found, make sure that you have uh, these two folders in your path. Um, but this sh absolutely should work. Um, so you'll want to open this and then install some of these Android uh, distributions. So we're just going to do the, the 19, Android 19 target, um, which is like Android 4.4. So you probably want to go back to, um, you know, even 14 as the API, but it's just going to take a long time to download, so for now we're just going to do um, 19 and some of these 20 up here, these SDK tools. So just click install 13 packages, you know, read all the license agreements if you want, um, and then install them, and that'll take a little while, so Okay, so while that's installing, let's go ahead and download Node.js. So Node.js is becoming an incredibly popular tool for building command line utilities. Uh, Cordova uses it, Ionic uses it, so we're going to need it. And if you have it, go ahead and download the latest release anyways, because there were several issues with NPM that were fixed recently. Um, and if you don't have a new version, things just might not work mysteriously. So go ahead and download the new version of Node and install that. It's a pretty small download, so just going to do that real quick. Okay, so now that Node's installed, you might need to add the Node.js folder to your path um, because mine wasn't finding the Node command, and I didn't bother to restart because that's stupid, so I'm not going to restart my computer just to install Node. So go to the end of path and then just add program files Node.js to your path, and then open up a new CMD window. And you should have Node. There you go. So um, it should also have NPM installed. So let's go ahead and install npm. Let's install Cordova. So type npm install dash Cordova. And that should go ahead and install Cordova for you. Cool, and you can test that by just typing Cordova. And it should just work. Great. Um, so let's also go ahead and install Ionic. So just do npm install dash g Ionic. Okay, so all our Android image is installed, so let's see if we can't start a Ionic project and build for Android. So go to your command prompt and uh, we'll start a new Ionic project. So just type Ionic start and then my app. And we'll go and download the base image and the uh, starting tabs template for your project. Okay, so if you try to start a project and you get this error here, error command failed, fatal could not create work tree directory. Um, this is an issue in uh, Cordova with Git repositories for plugins. So uh, to fix it, just really quick, um, that folder that it's trying to create, we're just going to have to create it manually. So find your user. Go into app data, so make sure you're showing hidden folders, local, temp, 
and then we're going to make a new folder here plug man and then inside that we're going to make a git folder and then we should remove the folder Okay, so just go and, and and if you get that error, just go and remove the folder that you that got created, my app folder, and then run Ionic Start again. Great, so that worked. The plugin installed. Hopefully, that will get fixed soon in Cordova. Um, until then, just keep that in mind. Okay, so we can CD into my app. So if we show the directory, we've got a bunch of files here. It's a typical core of a project. So we're going to do Ionic Platform Add Android. That's going to go ahead and download the core of a library for Android. Great, and that everything should just work. Uh, if Android's installed. Um, if your images are installed, this should just work. And if it doesn't work, make sure you go back to the Apache Cordova platform guide. Just go through step by step and make sure you didn't miss something. Okay, so now that that's installed, we can do Ionic Build Android. Okay, so if you run Ionic Build Android and you get an error here, um, unable to build app on platform Android, please see console for more info. Uh, you'll notice that it's saying that we don't have Java Home set correctly. So we're going to have to go create another environment variable here. We're just going to call this Java Home. And it's going to point to the full path of Java uh, in our program files for the JDK. So we're just going to take the JDK path here not the bin folder, just the root. Paste that into Java Home, hit OK. We're going to have to close out of CMD again. We'll open that up. CD back into my app. Type Ionic Build Android. We'll try that again. Okay, great. So um, I skipped ahead a little bit because I had to restart my computer, but go ahead and uh, launch a Jenny Motion device. Um, and once that's up and running, after we did Ionic Build, we can do Ionic Run Android, and it'll run our app right on Jenny Motion. Um, so Jenny Motion is basically just, like I said, a better emulator for Android. Um, but really, the best option when you're when you're really testing Android apps is to to have a device connected and test on the device. Um, because everything will be a little bit slower than that, um, but the I the Android emulator is almost unusable, so I just wouldn't even I wouldn't run the Ionic emulate command at all when you're doing Android development. Works fine for iOS though. So that should have launched our app here, and we see our dashboard app, and everything's good to go. So that's how you install Cordova, Android, Java. Uh, Ant, Node.js, uh, and Ionic for building Android apps. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. Uh, this should work on Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, possibly even XP, I'm not sure. Um, but hope you found that helpful. Thank you.